Don't know which sunscreen to buy? We'll do all the tests and compare for you. Hey, Wish Trenders! If you have skin concerns such as skin aging, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and rosacea, one of the easiest ways to take care of your skin is by wearing sunscreen. In today's video, I'll be comparing different chemical sunscreens for you guys. A total of eight products will be tested for today's experiment, and we chose eight different sunscreens that were released in 2022 from brands such as Bioderma, Dear Claire's, Innisfree, and Eucerin. There are products that provide protection from both UVA's and UVB rays with SPF 50, PA++++, and broad spectrum. The experiment will have a total of three parts. First, I will be testing the application, and then the second will be cleansing, and the third is the price and amount of the product. The three things I will be experimenting today are the most important factors when considering purchasing a sunscreen. I'll test the consistency of each product first, and everyone has a different preference when it comes to the consistency of a product, so I'll tell you what the application process is like for me personally for each sunscreen. First product is from Eucerin. Let's test it out. Oh, okay, I like the container. Okay, so the consistency is like somewhere between a moisturizer and like a really thick sunscreen. It's very, it doesn't look like it would leave any white cast. However, it does smell like nail polish remover. So yeah. Next up is the Dear Claire sunscreen. It has a very, very lightweight texture, and to me, it feels almost like skincare. It doesn't feel like sunscreen to me. It feels very fresh. It doesn't really have a smell. It doesn't smell like anything. And I like that it gives like a little nice sheen to it, you know? It like looks like a glow. And again, no white cast. I feel like it's a trend to not have white cast in sunscreen nowadays. Third, Bioderma sunscreen. So this is their new release, and... They say it can be used like a makeup base, but oh my gosh, instantly, do you guys see this? It's like, I'm not even pressing, I'm not even pressing. So it's really watery. It's like a very watery texture. And it just flows like this, it's like milk. Okay. Oh, again, this doesn't really have a smell, it just has like a slight sunscreeny smell to it. And it blends in really nicely, but for me, I feel like with makeup, this, I, I don't know how this would work with makeup interesting next up the by wish trend sunscreen i really like sunscreens that have like pump types like this so you don't have to you know like fuss about it okay, packaging is really important for me okay so out of all the sunscreens that i've tested so far this is the least watery so it doesn't feel watery and it feels like a cream but once you apply it it's really really like smooth applying like it doesn't feel too thick either Okay, so I'm done blending it in, and my first impression is that it's really hydrating, but it doesn't feel greasy. So a couple of them kind of have that glowy, kind of like dewy feel to it, but this doesn't have that greasiness, but it doesn't feel dry either. So I feel like it's the least, you know, like oily feeling. The B Plain sunscreen. Okay, to me, this feels like the very like stereotypical sunscreen. It just feels like sunscreen. I can't explain it. It's just very mm, standard sunscreen feeling. And it has like a baby lotion kind of baby product smell to it. I have really dry skin, so I wouldn't have problem using with this product. But I feel like if you have really oily skin, you might find this to be a little greasy. It does feel a little slippery and I think makeup would not wear well with this. Like it might kind of budge your makeup around if you have oily skin. So keep that in mind. And it's free. Let's go. I'm going to move on to this hand. Okay, so this is another sunscreen that feels like skincare. I feel like this is a real trend these days to make sunscreen feel like just a part of your skincare rather than like an additional layer to your skin. Oh, okay, this has a strong fragrance. Like leaves, like almost like tea tree. It has a very strong herby scent to it. Out of all of them, I feel like oh, these two probably have the strongest smell. So this definitely has a scent. And it blends in nicely. Next up, Etude Sunscreen. Hold on. Hold on. I want to just see something. Yeah, 
yeah, okay. The Innisfree one and this one feels almost identical to me in application. The Etude one doesn't have a scent though. It's pretty scentless. It just feels regular sunscreen smell. They're really similar. I don't know what to say. They're really similar. Finally, the Round Lab sunscreen. Okay, first, this doesn't have a scent, so it's fragrance-free, I think. And it applies really, really smoothly. And again, it feels like skincare, you know? Like, there is no white cast. So I feel like the 2022 sunscreen trend is to not, you know, give white cast and give that sunscreen kind of feel while giving good sun protection factors, you know? Like, giving good sun protection. This, again, absorbs in really nicely. It's hydrating, lightweight, and yes, they're very similar. So I tested the application for all eight products and for a more unbiased approach, we checked each formula on a black plate and put them in order from the lightest to the most concentrated. Next up is the oiliness test. We put the same amount of each sunscreen onto a sheet of blotting paper and waited three hours. The Dear Claire's Bioderma and Etude sunscreens had a similar amount of oiliness and the BioWish Trend sunscreen had the least amount of oiliness. We checked again after 12 hours had passed and the product with the most amount of oiliness was the Bioderma sunscreen and the product with the least was the BioWish Trend sunscreen. The other products had a similar amount of oiliness. Last but not least is the stickiness test. Most people prefer sunscreens that feel fresh on the skin. So we put them to the test. We applied 0.8 grams of each sunscreen and waited five minutes and then threw 300 feathers to see which sunscreen is the stickiest. There were no feathers stuck on the Dear Claire's by Wish Trend and Etude sunscreens and there was one feather that stuck on the Eucerin, Innisfree, and Round Lab sunscreens. There were two feathers stuck on the Be Plain sunscreen, and the most feathers were stuck onto the Bioderma sunscreen. The second test is the cleansing test. So we applied the same amount of each sunscreen to the same area, and after applying, we waited five minutes for the sunscreen to dry and remove tape. If you look through the UV camera, you can see that the sunscreen was applied evenly in the black area. We used the same amount of low pH cleanser and rubbed the area 10 times each and then rinsed with water. Now we'll check the UV camera again. All eight products were not perfectly removed with a primary cleanse. So we did a double cleanse using a cleansing oil in the same way as in the first test. After double cleansing, we could see that the sunscreen was perfectly removed except for the Bioderma sunscreen. For the third test, we will be comparing the price and amount of each product. The sunscreen with the largest amount has 75 milliliters, most products have 50 milliliters, and the product with the least amount was 40 milliliters. The prices range from $13.99 to $30, and the average price is $25.50. To get further detailed results, we decided to do an additional test. When applying sunscreen on the face, the recommended amount is about two fingers worth. So that is about 0.8 grams per use. We calculated how much it would cost per one use of each sunscreen when one use of sunscreen is 0.8 grams. And we calculated how many uses you could get out of each product. sunscreen once a day, we found that most products can be used as long as three months, two months, and a month and a half. So we have finished all the tests. Here is the summary of the major test results.
Since everyone wants different things when it comes to skincare, I don't think there can be a product that everyone is satisfied with. There are only products that work for me a bit better than others, so when you're choosing your skincare products, you know, consider your situation and the effects that your skin needs. We did a lot of tests for this video, but since they were conducted by the Wishtrend TV team, please know that the control of the environment cannot be perfect and there may be minor errors. However, we hope that Wishtrend TV's review can help our Wishtrenders make good choices for themselves. Let me know how you like this video down in the comments and yeah, we'll be back with awesome content. Bye Wishtrenders! Know what this? I really, really prefer this over the old one, like the old airy sunscreen. 이게 훨씬 더좀 뭔가 수분감 있는 느낌? Yeah, it doesn't. 그냥 선크림 바른 느낌이 안 드네요. 그리고 얘네 전부 다 저거 지금 진짜 선크림 떡 칠했는데 하나도 밀리는 게 없어요. <웃음> 너무 신기하다. Yeah. So no pilling.